Hi chat. Dude, I haven't I haven't streamed in a week and I feel man, it's so hard. Okay, so let me explain something to you guys, okay? I have been basically offline this whole week because I've been having a lot of stomach problems. My my stomach has been hurting. I've been like I have I've had like everything from sharp pains in my stomach to just vomiting all the time. Uh, and so I, I took a little bit of uh, time off and what turned into a couple of days off to let my stomach reset and fix itself turned into uh, over a week of uh, me just coming home from work and playing It Takes Two. So I'm back now, chat. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I am feeling a little better. Yeah, I've got like meds and stuff. So my stomach's not going to like rupture or nothing. It'll be fine. But yeah, man, I uh, I'm excited. I feel so dumb, bro. So I have uh, I have a very particular vernacular that I use chat and within that vernacular uh, includes just gaming quotes and like Twitch emote lingo, right? And uh, so doctor's fucking talking to me. She's like, yeah, you have really high blood pressure and you need to maybe take on some medication because it might be genetic. And I'm like, oh, that's not very pog. And she looked over at me. She's just like, excuse me. And then like expected me to explain to her what pog was but my social anxiety was just like nah no we're not doing that bro no you guys don't even understand it used to be so much worse i used to have this terrible habit where i would just call random people chat like i would go to subway i had I, there was a subway i used to go to that my dad's house was close to and uh i would go to subway and uh she'd give me the fucking sandwich i'd be like oh thanks chat and then one day i did it like nine times and then she eventually called me out for it and she's like you know you always call me chat why do you do that? And I just didn't really have the heart to go into the conversation. So I was like, oh, that's my, uh, I made up, I made up the dumbest fucking excuse, but I was like, oh, that was my, uh, that was my grandma's name who, uh, passed away from the war. And she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. Your, your grandmother chat. And I'm like, thank you very much. I'll, I'll now take my, my tuna fish foot long and be on my way. And my dear Dan, cherry blossom petals dance upon the wind like some kind of bizarre battalion of breeze ballerinas. A smile graces my face as I watch the petals fall. All is well until a chew. Love mom. Why am I so awkward? I don't know. I've just, I've, I've been this way for so long that I just exist in this sort of mode. What do you guys like? Like, have you guys ever done anything like that? You guys have to have embarrassing stories too. It can't just be me. You had a sonic phase? Bro, I remember what. <laughs> I remember one time, bro, I was, I was in gym class, right? And we're like, they're trying to get people to try out for like track and field. So they just make all the gym classes, like go run on the track, bro. And we're going in, bro. The fucking, fucking hundred yard dash. And everyone's like lined up. We're like, ready, set, go. And I take off full fucking speed. Hands behind me. Fucking just going, bro. It was, oh my God. I was that kid, bro. I was really that kid. Naruto running in fucking gym class all the time <laughs> it was me except it was sonic bro it was it was a little sonic run i used to do you've done it okay listen check can i just get a raise of hands if you have done the sonic and or naruto a few moments later what the fuck why did the music get so sensual all of a sudden chat whoa like hello everyone welcome to my only fans page and <laughs> that was <laughs> okay so like some of you thanks chat <laughs> glad it's not just me <laughs> Mom picked me up. I'm scared. Dan's OnlyFans saga, bro. I'm telling you, man, it, it, it's gonna take one company willing willing to fund my cooking show, and I'll make an exclusive cooking show on their app, bro. I'll do it, whether it's OnlyFans or one of the other like 20 companies that send me emails and shit, bro. I'll do it. I'll do the exclusive fucking cooking show, premium content, chat. I'll do it. I swear to God. Only Dan's was a good joke. What do you mean? Nah, I'm really gonna do it, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an OnlyFans. I'm gonna make an exclusive cooking show called Scuffed Cooking, where I I attempt to make progressively more complicated dishes and just kind of see if I can make it edible. I think this is a good idea, chat. I think I think this would be this would be very good content. We'll get back to you very soon. Oh wait, I think that's Blathers, bro. I think we're getting Blathers now. Dan, sorry to keep you waiting. I. I suppose you overheard that call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising the hood getaway package. And wouldn't you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. We're getting a little bit closer to, to villager hunting. So where's my shop? Is it built yet? I'm sure my shop. Oh yeah, we put the shop on the beach. I forgot. Oh bro, we got the shop on a beach and a penguin on a beach. This is the best island I've ever made, man. Do you love growing up watching amazing classic Disney afternoon cartoons? I used to just watch Toy Story 2 on repeat, if that means anything. Growing up, that's what I did. It's so nice, so nice. We've been here for a little while, it's really starting to come along. 
It seems we make new discoveries almost every day and we moved here because our jobs, but we're having a lot of fun too. Man, I remember one time, you guys ever had like, there, there's this place I used to go to. It's a little joint in Oklahoma. It's called the garage. And what, what they had, bro, is they had this, this, it was this hella stacked burger, right? On like a pretzel bun with a fried egg in the burger. Does that sound good chat or no? Cause it was, it was actually really, really good, but I don't know if it sounds very good to like everyone. Sounds American. Oh yeah, if you're not American, that probably sounds like like a fucking cholesterol clots or some shit. Wendy's had this burger that was like a, it was like a pub burger on a pretzel bun, and it was just kind of okay. Chuck E. Cheese pizza always tastes weird. We can't we can't trash talk Chuck E. Cheese pizza. We're not allowed to trash talk them, chat. They follow us on Twitter, okay? We have to, we have to we have to be cool with the Chuck E. Cheese guys. Yeah, see, look at this chat, okay? This is this is Chuck E. Cheese follows me, okay? We can't we can't we can't put any risk on this on this business relationship okay so Chuck E. cheese good chat smile i mean i used to go to chucky e. cheese and my Chuck E. cheese had the little like nicktoons racing arcade machine bro so i would go in i would go play fucking nicktoons nicktoons racing and i would play squidward and i would destroy everybody's top scores because i was a gamer born and raised a gamer chat have you guys seen the video have you guys seen those videos of like there's there's this clock right at Chuck E. cheese and i saw a video of some kid getting on it and fucking breaking it i want to know is what i would like to know who who allowed him to even st see somebody knows somebody knows this isn't gonna fucking work this guy knows it's not gonna work God damn, bro. Everyone knew. Everybody knew that this wasn't going to work, but they still just allowed for him to try. Why would you let him try? You're holding his ass like you know it's going to fall. And the way, the way he runs away. The way he runs away. Hold on. He doesn't even, he doesn't, he doesn't even, he doesn't even swing his arms. He's running away like fucking. <laughs> Didn't even swing the arms, bro. <laughs> just legs. It's no arms, bro. It's all just legs. <laughs> I want this record player, bro. I want to be a I want to be a normie and collect vinyl. Portable record player. DM 4K shit. I'm a yoink it. I want to see Dan wear a maid's dress while wearing cookies. Hmm. First episode of the cooking series. Dan wears a dress. Wait, a fitness tank. Ooh. I really need better outfits. Wow, I'm already back in the dress chat. Let's go. You just put Carlos in a dress? When? <laughs> Femboy Dan. On your TikTok? Hold on, can I pull that up actually? Hold on. I don't know if I can pull up. What's the, the handle? I don't remember what it is. I gotta look it up for the desktop version. Let me see. Okay, I got it, I got it. Oh, I found it, I think. You have 11,000 followers on TikTok? Dude, that's cool. I right, hear, look at this. Hold on, let's see. Look chat, it's like a, it's a little cosplay. That's him too. I gotta remake that hoodie, bro. That Stonks hoodie was actually great. Are those mangoes? What are those? Oh, they're little Easter eggs. the guy throwing stuff that was really cool i like that one and then there's this one where you put him in a dress you, right <laughs> why did i meow why did i meow i would no no that's a bad habit that's a you bad have a froggy has a chair dress you literally come on you literally meowed stop that's pretty cool that's pretty funny cat boy made car you guys you guys have a problem you all you all need help is what y'all need all right chat do you guys want to go ahead and do um do the item of the day I, th I say let's go ahead and do item of the day if you guys want to donate an item uh to the town today here's what you're going to want to do you're going to want to click the link at the top of chat that link tree link and head over and join the discord server the oh hello oh is this it the teddy bear i want to put this teddy bear in the house Boop, boop. Fuck! What? Okay, maybe maybe it, it really is a giant teddy bear. Listen, I'm all about having the teddy bear chat, okay? I'm all about it, right? However, comma, oh, how the fuck am I gonna put this in here, bro? It's huge! I asked for a big teddy goth girl, not a big stitch teddy bear. Not a big teddy bear, okay? Titty, not teddy, chat. You guys compl you guys have ruined this for me. I only asked, you You had one job. One thing you were supposed to bring me, chat, and you messed it up, okay? Said titty, not teddy. There's legit 
a legit product called the Titty Bear? What is this? I would like to introduce you, chat. Top of your car cut into your shoulder. Is your shoulder strap too tight and annoying? Introducing the Titty Bear, the cute little guy that eliminates all those problems. Wow. Designed to make driving more comfortable. The titty bear snaps onto your shoulders. I need me a titty bear. And down to remove the pressure wherever you need it. My shoulder strap used to pull so <laughs> tight I could hardly Why is breathe. this a thing? Now with the titty bear, I really Why? enjoy traveling again. The patent bending design <laughs> swivels to work from either the driver's side or passenger seat and fits all makes and models. Just snap it on, slide wow. it where it relieves the pressure, and drive away. The titty bear stays where you want it <laughs> until you move it. My wife used to always complain about the pressure. From <laughs> could the you, bank. could you imagine? I just imagine like some dude, right? A guy, like some old guy and his wife driving around in a fucking Corvette or some shit, some nice ass car, and having this teddy bear strapped to their chest. Not anymore. And the teddy bear works so great. <laughs> it looks so stupid. All right, well, uh, let's see. All right, um, purchase that sucks. they're sold they're sold out of the pink one they're sold out of the pink one so i guess we're just gonna have to get two of the gold ones chat we'll, we'll just we'll just have to get we'll just have to get two of the gold ones it's okay